Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm instructor Jim Pytel and today's topic of discussion is AC ammeters. Our objective is to take a quick look at the AC ammeter function on a representative example of a commercially available digital multimeter. If you recall, way back in the Basic Electronics 1 DC Circuit Analysis playlist, I introduced various functions of the digital multimeter, or DMM, including the ohmmeter, the DC voltmeter, and the DC ammeter. Today, we'll continue to explore additional functions offered by most commercially available DMMs, including the AC ammeter function. For the purposes of today's lecture, we'll be making use of the BK Precision 2831E digital multimeter. This in no way is meant to be neither an exhaustive review of this DMM, nor an endorsement of this particular manufacturer or model. I only wish to present the function of interest on a representative example of a DMM so the viewer can gain some practical exposure to this function and interpret the manner in which the results are displayed. If you recall in the Function Generators lecture, available at the Big Bad Tech channel, we set up the BK Precision 410A Function Generator to produce sinusoidal voltage output with a 4.5 volt RMS value at a frequency of 50 Hz. Recall we initially established this output voltage in an unloaded condition, and again in a loaded condition when the Function Generator was actually supplying current to a 330 ohm resistor. We can therefore be reasonably certain that our output hasn't drifted from the desired 4.5 volt RMS at 50 Hz. Let's use this verified output and the BK Precision 2831E digital multimeter to measure current through the 330 ohm resistor. It should be well within your capacity to calculate that a voltage waveform with an effective or RMS value of 4.5 volts has a peak value of approximately 6.4 volts. If we were to assume that this is our reference waveform, we could say it has a phase shift of 0 degrees, and substituting these values into the time variant voltage formula, we arrive at V of t equals 6.4 volts times the sine of 360 times 50 times the time of interest. Given Ohm's law, quite like the law of gravity holds true at all times, it should be no surprise that resultant current is also a sine wave that perfectly matches the peaks and valleys of applied voltage for this purely resistive load. In summary, sinusoidal voltage input results in sinusoidal current output. Given Ohm's law states current equals voltage over resistance, and voltage is not a fixed quantity anymore, but rather a time variant sinusoidal function, it can be demonstrated that current can be expressed as I of t being equal to 19.3 milliampures times the sine of 360 times 50 times the time of interest, where the peak current value of 19.3 milliampures is our peak voltage value of 6.4 volts over 330 ohms. While true, this peak value isn't especially informative. And one should be able to discern that a peak value of 19.3 milliampures correlates to an effective current value of approximately 13.6 milliampures. Our goal is to use the BK Precision 2831E digital multimeter to measure and verify this anticipated current draw. Upon powering up the BK Precision 2831E DMM, we see it does a quick functions check and it immediately defaults to the DC voltmeter function. Let's enable the AC ammeter function. The AC ammeter function on the BK Precision 2831E DMM resides in the alternative function set. To access the alternate function set, press the light blue shift key in the lower right. Note the AC ammeter section written in light blue above the AC voltmeter function. Press AC ammeter. No ammeters use different input ports and measurement circuitry than the other functions offered by the DMM. The BK Precision 2831E DMM is limited to the measurement of current below 500 milliampers using the input port on the left and below 20 amperes using the other input port. The current we intend to measure is well below these upper limits. The 500 milliampere input port on the left will give us our most accurate reading. Recall that ammeters must be placed in line or in series with our load as illustrated in this diagram. Power off the function generator and insert the ammeter in the circuit as follows. Come out of the function generator red lead and go into the ammeter and the ammeter only using a red lead inserted to the red input port on the left. Come out of the ammeter black common output port on the right and go into the 330 ohm resistor and only the 330 ohm resistor using a black lead. Now we just need to complete the circuit. Come out of the 330 ohm resistor and go into the black terminal of the function generator. Note the BK Precision 2831 DMM is auto ranging, so we don't need to worry about manually ranging it prior to measuring current. If you wish, you can force it out of auto range mode into manual, but we'll keep it as is. Our ACM meter is now ready for business. 
Powering on the function generator, we observe a current draw close to our anticipated effective value of 13.6 milliampers. Note by taking our time and thinking about our every action, we never ran the risk of hurting ourselves or damaging equipment. In summary, don't just press buttons. Do the calculations first. Know what to expect. Walk yourself through the schematic exactly as illustrated and don't make unnecessary modifications or complications. Have a simple plan and execute it violently. All right, that's about it for this quick demonstration of the BK Precision 2831E DMM and AC ammeter mode. We'll make use of this tool in later lectures to verify the electrical characteristics of elements within an AC circuit. In conclusion, this lecture took a brief look at the AC ammeter function on the BK Precision 2831 DMM. We use the DMM to verify the anticipated behavior of a simple single phase AC circuit. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your Lazy Lab partner about this resource, and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.